What it do, y'all? It's the boy Battle Red Robinson, man. You know what it is, man. It's a little cold outside, so I had to dress according to the weather. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, I got my, my AFC South 2012 Houston Texans T on, man. We still repping in this camp, man. As you can see, I, I, I'm a tad bit more turned up than I usually would be, man. You know, after 11 losses in a row. But uh, we finally fired the boy Gary Kubiak, man. Uh, shout out to Gary Kubiak. He was the first coach to lead my Houston Texans to the playoffs. We got a couple uh, playoff wins under him. But it was time to go, man. It was time to go, man. He'd been here eight years. Um, two, uh, two playoff appearances in eight years. Uh, we striving for excellence now, man. So we had to go on here and let him make it. I personally think we should have let him go a long time ago. But, hey, man, Bob McNair finally got it. I guess that uh, embarrassing Jacksonville loss and the uh, other embarrassing 10 losses uh, before the Jacksonville loss probably uh, put it over the top for him, man. But, but yeah, man, it was time to make that move, man. Um, I see we're looking at Lovey Smith. Um, I, I heard Bill Cow... No, 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 I didn't hear Bill Coward. I did through rumors, but uh, I'm talking about a uh, credit credit. What is it? What was what's the word? Credible sources. I've heard Lovey Smith. We're interviewing him. I heard um, that boy Shanahan from uh, Washington. If they fire him, uh, please don't. Um, I, I don't need him down here in Houston. A couple college coaches, coaches, and I heard that boy John Gruden, baby. I ain't mad at John Gruden, man. Come here and bring that that high-powered offense you got, man. But um, Lovey Smith, man, I, Lovey Smith ain't a bad look, man. When you go back and look at those those Bears, um, defense defenses that were coached under him, they wasn't giving up no more than about 14 points, man. And you know you bring Lovey Smith in here and you know get JJ Watt up under him. You know, get a DJ Swearinger up under them. We just hold boys down, and I think we have the offensive, um, offensive weapons to, to put 21 or 24 up on you. If we do hold on to Andre Johnson, I believe you know <coughs> the right quarterback could get him in the end zone. You got a, uh, you still got Hopkins. That boy good for a touchdown. If Foster is. Is okay when he gets back. He's guaranteed, you know, a touchdown every game. So I, I don't know, man. I think if you bring Lovey Smith in, you let him focus on the defense, and uh, he needs to hire a high-powered offensive coordinator. But back to Kubiak for a second, man. A lot of people, like, ah, oh, I feel sorry for Kubiak. Why you feel sorry for him? He's still getting paid, though. Like for the rest of the season, he's still getting paid, and he got fired. You get fired from your job, man. You got to run to the nearest unemployment office and make it happen real quick. And you ain't getting nowhere near what he's getting, man. Uh, Gary Kubiak got fired. And today, he took in the paper, he uh, he bought um, ad space in the paper to, to, to thank the fans, the city of Houston, the players, and everything. You get fired, you holding on to every penny you get. Why you worried about Gary Kubiak, man? That man's a millionaire. He gonna be all right. He gonna find another job ASAP. Next season, he's gonna be somebody's offensive coordinator. Getting a bread. While you scrimping, making $10, $11, $12 an hour. Why you worried about Gary Kubiak, man? That boy gonna be all right, man. But uh, that's, that's all I, I wanted to say, man. This is... This just should have been happened long time ago, man. But I think, let me see. Yeah, we we have um. Is it three games left? Let me see. We eleven and two, eleven and two, eleven, twelve, thirty. Yeah, we got three games left, man. We play Denver. We play the Colts again, and we play the Titans. I believe we could win. We could win some of these games, man. Why not? Why not? Who who wants to? <coughs> Who wants to lose out, man? That's not being competitive, man. Nah, man. Let's win the next three games, man. I'm not worried. I would love to. Nah, man. I don't want to have the number one 
uh, well, I mean, let me not sound like an idiot. I wouldn't mind having the number one draft pick, but I don't want to lose out on purpose to have the number one draft pick. It's going to be a lot of, I'm, I'm, we probably guaranteed to be in the top five, man. So get out of here. It's going to be a lot of decent players, you know, out there, man. That boy Clowney, of course, Johnny Football. My boy, uh, what's what's the black quarterback's name with, uh, I think it's Louisville. I forget, man, but it, it's a bunch of players. We need old linemen, man. We need everything, man. I ain't going to lie. But, uh, again, I ain't going to keep y'all too long, man. Shout out to that boy Gary Kubiak. You know, uh, big ups to whatever you do in the future. Do your thing. You know, we still H-Town repping. I don't change, baby. H-Town, I'm repping. I don't change, man. H-Town, my one and only team. And, and, and you know what's crazy? This is the last thing I'm going to hit you with. We should have won the division this year because the Titans still trash. In my opinion, Jacksonville's still trash. And the Colts are falling off towards the end of the season, man. And I believe we could have easily walked away with this division. But, hey, we're 2-11, and 11, man. What the hell? You know, Battle Red Robinson. Y'all mucho take it easy, man. Chill!